Let's go. I'm not gonna be there for that long tonight. Because I have work tomorrow. Oh god. What a start. What a start! So 32, yeah, pretty much. All right, so 32 uh, currency is enough for one intensity. <laughs> yes, yes, the gamble is real. Let's go. What a start. Just, just don't, just don't fuck up now. Oh yeah, the prices are, uh, yeah, the prices are, aren't random. Uh, intensity is, um, intensity starts at 32 and then it doubles for each, each level. This is the DLC, by the way. Uh, in my original... In my original world record, it, it didn't have DLC, so I technically haven't beaten the game with DLC yet. Oh, jeez. And by DLC, I mean you don't you don't even have to download it. It's streamed from the website. The the extra rooms. Don't ask. That's how it works. Yeah, so the game with DLC is currently unbeaten, but if you really think about it, does that does that really make the game unbeaten? Because it's just extra rooms, it's not extra items, and I could very, very well add more rooms at any time, and because the rooms are straight, because the map is uh, is downloaded from the server when you're playing online with online maps uh, there's actually no way you would be able to tell that there's new rooms other than noticing that there's new rooms oh shit oh this fucking room again yeah I'm gonna need more rooms at one point because uh yeah If you play the game without online maps, you technically don't have DLC, so you end up with like the base version of the game. So DL it's kind of a weird concept. DLC is kind of online only, if you think about it. Come on, give me a blue shard. Ah, oh, great. You. Another one? Oh yeah, it takes 11, even though it says 10. Because 10 out of 10 counts as one, it's stupid. Um. I'm not going for speed, although I could. But I'm not. And, uh, uh, yeah, I, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna go lock. I guess I'm gonna, like, 
explain mechanics as I play because some things aren't very mu very well explained. Um, luck is region. Because luck increases your chance of getting bits, of, uh, blue blue shards that give you regeneration. Yeah, luck is OP. It really isn't, but it also is. Is it? This is wow, look at this room. Look at this room. Ah, oh, yes, the gamble item. The only item in the game that can give you a shit cross. And when I say a shit cross, I mean because upgrade can change your weapon type, but you don't get any of the stat boosts of the weapon types. That's actually true. You, that would be the perfect. Uh, that would be perfect for exploiting the uh, the block respawn. But what are the chances you're gonna get a uh, a screen clear in that room, right? At this level. All right. So. Last time, chunk. So we got a chunk, but we don't have any of the of the good things of chunk. Oh, actually, Chunk is gonna let me do this. There you go. Oh, wow, that's dangerous. Uh, yes. It, it increases... Oof! It increases the, 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 the critical... Yeah. So there's a crit rate for dropping uh, shards. And that's all based on luck. That includes... And... Oof. I didn't die. Oh. Wow, look at that. I could have been exploiting that room with the field. I'm gonna keep it in. Oh! Yeah, Chunk isn't too good if you don't have uh, increased speed because of that. See? That's uh, that's dangerous. But yeah, every weapon in the game also gives you stat boosts, but if you get them through the I to the, uh, the the random thing, you just get the item change, you don't get the stat boosts. That's one thing to consider, which makes the the random item it dangerous because if it gives you the cross you don't even get the intensity boost that the cross gives you which by the way is makes cross the most valuable item in the game even though it is shit Um, yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice health for this. I think it's worth it. Well, what you like, it Very worth it. Plus. It does not just give one intensity. If I remember correctly, it gives two. So if you find... If you find like two crosses in, in rooms back to back, and you find another item in a in, in oh shit I'm stupid. And you find another item in a in a room afterwards. You just go back to the cross and you get insane amounts of uh. What what you like? Uh 
Oh, yeah. Intensity plus plus. This is a intensity run, I guess. God damn, I'm getting a lot of DLC rooms today. Fun fact about the DLC, it was uh, entirely uh, done with outsourcing. So I art I outsourced the development of uh, of the DLC because I just couldn't be fucked to do it myself. And I found someone who was willing to uh, do a lot. Oh yes. And I was very, very happy about that. Wow, that was stupid. It is, it is pretty hard. Um, it's not just hard, it's also very... Um, it's very complex to have it perfectly balanced. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Wait. Wait. <laughs> oh boy. You gave me a really good idea, actually. Rooms full of, uh, that's one thing, rooms full of, um, of blocks like that uh, didn't exist before the DLC. Uh, I, I let them, I decided to leave them like that because uh, I thought it would maybe make the game easier if there was more resources. It's one of those rare cases where the DLC actually makes the game easier. I don't I don't think there's a lot of games that do that. Usually DLC either makes the game harder or just adds new content. DLC in this game actually makes the game easier. So in that sense, I think uh, it's fair to say that I think it's fair to say that my world record without DLC is still valid. Um, yeah, laser is pretty fucking good. Um, Found a little bug here, but nothing dangerous. This one? Fuck you! <laughs> I, I, I got the worst. Oh no! Oh 
fucked, man. That's that's the absolute worst. There's really n no worse thing than that that can happen. Oh no. Cross without in intensity boost. Great. Fucking genius. Okay, we're going full intensity. We need it. If I'm gonna face this boss with this fucking weapon... Oh, there you go. There you go. Is this the run? Two days back to back? Isaac then crop the world? <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna be so mad if I beat it in one go. <laughs> well, it... it yeah. <laughs> Oops. Cross again? Oh fuck yes. Alright. The run. But like I said earlier, the uh, the core ignores the intensity, so I need to get my burst upgraded as fast as possible because if I don't have any burst the final boss is gonna be a absolute pain. Oh, nice life. All right. Oh yeah, I, I wanted to say, uh, increasing range also increases the the range at which you can pick up the uh, the the currency. So you're 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 picking up your pick up range. <laughs> so it's not just the range of the bullets. Yeah, it's also the range of the pickups. Yeah, there's. I think we need to make a wiki for this game. <laughs> like, how would you play Isaac without the fucking wiki, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, th this this place. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. So 
so far so good. This is uh, this is pretty good, but I don't have any burst right now. Uh, unless. Unless I keep fighting these, this gives burst. This gives one burst. Again, the same room. Yeah, the generator is not... The generator is not looking much ahead in terms of uh, making sure the rooms don't repeat. Yeah, this, uh, the enemies dying through a door is, uh, is a quirk that, well, it's not a quirk, like, it's by design, but it's when I made the game, when I switched the game from 4x3 to widescreen, the, the previous rule was that when, uh, no, actually, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, stupid things because uh, it's not it's not that it's uh, the fact that some of some things can go outside the game and that's these like for example the laser it goes outside the screen and that's because when I when I m made the game in uh, being uh, 16 by 9 instead of 4 by 3 that was a weird quirk that I needed to address but uh, Tricky jump! What would you like? Um. Uh, that's really worth it. Oh shit. Um, but that's gonna cost a lot. is crazy tonight. See the price of this intensity? Holy shit. Yeah, I need to focus on my purse now. Touching a tear, I believe if I remember correctly, these five damage. And if you have a tear exploding in your face, I think it's like 15 damage. It's like stupid like that. I should have hovered by now. 
I don't. It's not... You don't have to get it. It's very optional. Bruh. It's more of a... Agility thing for like navigating between spikes and, and shit like that. Oh, corner. You can really pull out some, some sick moves with corner. It also, uh, if I remember correctly, it also infects. Um, it also infects the um, the tiles. Oh yeah, fun fact: you see these uh, these tiles up here that are different from the others. These are actually like bugged out tiles. They 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 like. There's a bug that causes them to. There's a bug that actually causes them not to render properly and uh, I cannot fix it because I don't have the source code anymore, but yeah. Hover please. Thank you. that I, I don't have max range is helping me with with not having enough burst because the bullets just disappear so it, it does help yeah so the intent <laughs> so yes the intentionally buggy looking does actually have a bug in the later levels only Whoa. I'm in level 5 and I don't see any shops anywhere. That could be the wrong killer if I don't have enough burst. For real. I don't want to face the core without having enough intensity. That would be like an absolute disaster.
This is what hover is for. Oof. Oof. <laughs> that was close. Yeah, it does. So my rule usually is I need about 50 HP to get to the final boss. That's... That's about what I assume I need to... To have a good battle. So close. See, hover is very, very good for that kind of thing. Watch this. It doesn't. I just hit the corner at the <laughs> pixel perfect. It, it doesn't let you, unless, unless there's a bug and I don't know about it, but I, I feel like I, I got the corner like pixel perfect. Come on, burst. Hey, my burst, all right. Look at that. Oh, by the way, if you are ever wondering how do you know what's your level, that's the price of the shop, my dude. The shop is basically the only way you can know how powerful you are. That also means you can't really know all of your stats all the time. I mean, there could be, there could be mods. It's it would be possible to mod the game uh, to add, like for example, on-screen uh, stats. Uh, it wouldn't be too complicated, but yeah, it would be possible. Oh shit! Um, um, um. Hey, that worked. Um, yeah, this. This, 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 and we need this. Okay. Making mods for this game is not impossible, but oh. awesome. It, it, it's not impossible, but it would be fairly complicated. Uh, it's all written in JavaScript, so 
it's not the most complicated thing in the world, but it's also not the easiest one. Like, it's not Lua. Like, if I remake the game, like, I'm probably gonna do a lot of shit in Lua. Like Isaac. Oh, fuck these guys. Good, more burst. Not enough range, great. Just gonna clear out the bullets whenever I can. And you're dead. Wait. just a little bit Find another one, another item. Shit. Oh, bro, no way. Uh, 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 no, no, we're not getting the cross, not for level six. Oh wow, we, we 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 got the the level with the fully bugged up, fully bugged out tiles. All right, cool. All right, luck, one thousand. Well, we'll do that. Thank you. Holy shit. Is this the run for real? <laughs> Thank you, Trail. Ah, 
<laughs> no. Part of the game where it, it literally becomes a bullet hell. Okay, don't don't hit the right one. You need a platform to get up there. It is. It is so satisfying. Do I have enough trench? Oh, fuck off. That was the room to use it. A bullet hell where you shoot bullets against bullets. out field, we've maxed out hover, we've maxed out trail, uh, but range is not maxed out, which is fine. I have a lot of health. I think everything's pretty much maxed out now. Oh, do I want to do this? I, I don't want the wall. I don't want it. Because wall gives one speed and I'm already max speed. Well, it's good, but the stats increase is not gonna do anything for me. And I, pref I prefer to keep this. I prefer a wave for this. I would be... I'd be down to switch to Chunk. Wave is also good. Alright, keep shooting. Go ahead, keep shooting. Alright. The way is clear. Hover, and you're dead. Oof! A cross in level six. Maybe if uh... what a crit! Holy shit! Ouch. Fuck.
Oh, I'm taking this. One lock, two thousand. All right. No, I'm keeping the laser. Any blues I got? Uh, is that a bug? I don't even remember this being a thing. Bro, it's fucking over. What? No way. It's all blue. Oof. I have no reason not to get all of these. They're all blue. It's all blue. Shit. <sighs> All right. Never reach the core with this much luck.
Okay, this is the this is the the part where you cannot let you absolutely cannot let the boss overload the game. Do not do not overload the fucking game. Bro! Is, is it is this a guaranteed win? Very nice. <clears throat> you should claim the world record. Uh, if if this was like on Steam, maybe, but right now. <laughs> Fifty one minutes. With the DLC. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I guess the game breaks when you when you reach uh, the final uh, the final lock upgrade. Like for real. When you buy the two thousand lock upgrade everything goes blue i i remember the algorithm that does this and it makes sense because yeah that's 100 percent chance of getting the blue yeah you could upgrade it further than that and if you were to upgrade it further than that at one point i guess the enemies would always crit but you don't need that I guess if you if you max out your luck, <laughs> then it's pretty much GG. I didn't even have the full range. <laughs> 